Hey everybody, Adam here for True North Wilds, and this is the July unboxing of Mystery Tackle Box Elite Multi-Species Box. If you watched my last unboxing um, from the other day for the Pro Walleye Box, you saw that there was some confusion as to what month I am actually on for my boxes. That confusion is still there for this box. I went and did a little bit of digging. I went through my orders on the Mystery Tackle Box website, mysterytacklebox.com, if you guys want to check them out. Um, I went to my account and I looked at my orders and made sure that all my boxes that were listed as being ordered were accounted for in that month. As far as I can tell, all the boxes that are listed in my orders I received and are accounted for in the right month. So as far as I can tell, I'm on the right month because I get a lot of comments from people saying that, oh, that's last month's box that you're doing now. Um, but as far as I can tell, based on my orders and when I'm getting everything, I'm getting those boxes for those months. So last month, those June boxes that I did were for June. The May boxes that I did, as far as I can tell, based on the orders, those were for May. This one and the Pro that I just, uh, just did, they don't show up on my orders list yet, so these are the ones that I can't account for right now. I've either gotten a double up on June, with no record of it anywhere in my account, or I'm getting July's boxes extremely early, and they just haven't posted yet to my orders. So I really don't know what's going on with uh, my Mystery Taco Boss schedule. Typically I get them in the middle of the month, and I can look at my orders, and the order goes through on the, the first of every month. Uh, usually, depending on if it falls on a weekend, sometimes it's you know the, the second or third or fourth or whatever. But it's always that first couple days of every month. And then I get the box in the middle of the month. And I went back and I tracked that. And it's like that every month for the last you know eight months. And those are the ones that I did videos on. And they, they line up the way that they're supposed to, except for these ones. So if anybody has any clue... What's going on with Mystery Taco Box's sending schedule? I'm not complaining, because either I get a free box for some reason, or I just got my boxes extremely early for some reason. Either way, it's kind of a win-win for me. I just, I'm so confused. If anybody knows what's going on there, if anybody else has similar problems, uh, and I wouldn't even call it a problem, but just similar confusion, just uh, leave a comment below and let me know, because I would really like to solve the mystery mystery of uh, why so many of my boxes get comments saying that's last month's box but yet according to all the paperwork everything I'm getting the same the current month um, that everybody else should be getting so if we can figure that out uh, that would that would be awesome because I don't like little mysteries and unsolved problems like that anyway this is either a bonus June box or a really early July box, however you, however it ends up being, for the Mystery Tackle Box Elite Multi-Species Box. Let's dive in and take a look. Dibble Digest, of course. Uh, the What's in the Box card, I'll set that aside here. And just another note on being confused. So it doesn't say anywhere on the card, it doesn't say anywhere on the Dibble Digest or the box or anything what month it's for. It does tell you, for more about your box, go to, it gives you a link here, you know, allaboutmybox.com, blah, blah, blah. So I went to that link for the walleye one, and it just gives a review of the uh, lures that are in it. But again, it doesn't say anywhere what month that was for. So I've looked everywhere that I can think to look to determine exactly what month. They don't list that anywhere. Maybe to account for weird things like this, they'd rather just not say and just let you assume. So really don't know. If anybody has other ideas, let me know. Like I said, obviously, uh, it it's something that uh, is not a problem and it doesn't bug me necessarily, but it just annoys me that I don't know what the answer is. Anyway, moving on. Dynamic lures. I love these guys. Dynamic lures make some great stuff. Micro spinnerbait. I've gotten one of these before, and I think it was like two years ago. Uh, one eighth ounce. These are fantastic spinners for trout. There's just a nice small size, lots of flash. And I think this, uh, the last one I got was also Dynamic Lures. 
see if I can get in here. The last one that I got was a nice gold color, but same size as this, and I believe it was the exact same lure, just that different color. And it was awesome. It worked so good. Especially, like I say, for trout. This is something I can take to a trout pond, a nice stock trout pond, and they just slam it. Uh, it's it's great. Rainbow trout, brook trout, brown trout, all that fun stuff. It's got this nice dangly blade, so that's what's going to give you a lot of your uh, spinning action. It's got this feathering, uh, or threads, or whatever they are. It's not plastic, it's some sort of a... Or it might be plastic, but it's not... It's not the uh, skirting like you, you typically see. It's actually more of a stiff weave or, or something. And it's got this flashy points of holographic film, or I don't know if they're tiny little plastic beads or something in there, but it's got this... They're woven in to these, uh, these threads, and they just give it a lot of sparkle. The rest of the lure is just plain orange, but you get that really burst of flash coming out from the back end like that, and that's a really attractive um, burst to a fish. And then, of course, you get your uh, your flash and a little bit of chatter from, from the uh, blade there. Great spinners. They work really good. Dynamic lures. They make good stuff. I really love getting these. Uh, nothing, nothing wrong with that whatsoever. Keep in mind this is a multi-species box, so I'll be evaluating on the variety. Dynamic lures micro spinner baked, four ninety five US. Yeah, that's about right. You know, you look at it five fifty, six bucks, six twenty five, somewhere around there. Canadian, it's about right. It's about because uh, I've ordered stuff from Dynamic before, and that seems appropriate for what I've paid for other stuff. Tackle beacon. Never heard of them. Teardrop lure, best used with catfish tube baits. One of the things that I've been enjoying about these uh, elite multi-species boxes has been that they've included catfish baits so far. And I love fishing for catfish, but I'm not familiar with how it's done anywhere else other than here. And what I do here is always the same thing. I, there's not much variety for uh, catfish fishing here. So it's interesting to see other styles like this. I've never seen anything like this. I don't know what a catfish tube bait is. And I don't know what this teardrop lure is. So this is, it looks neat. I can't, uh, I can't comment on it because I have no clue whatsoever. So if anybody knows how these are used or what they're used for, I know there's so many different types of catfish throughout the States. We have a bit of a variety here, but pretty much Pretty much the only ones that I would ever fish for are channel catfish and um, bullheads, brown bullheads. Um, there might be other species, smaller ones that don't that don't get targeted. There, uh, there might be other species in different provinces. I'm not entirely sure, but here it's channel cats, brown bullheads, and you fish for them basically the same way. There's very little variety. So if anybody knows how this is used or what it targets. Let me know. I'm super curious. That's one of the reasons I like getting this box, is uh, I'm getting this new catfish stuff. I can't say anything about it, just because I don't know. Uh, same with price. I really can't comment on the price, which is listed here at $249 US, which seems seems reasonable to me, but I, I have no idea what the, what is normal for it. So leave a comment down below and let me know. I'm super curious. Next up, we have Eurotackle Micro Finesse Stoneflies. This is cool. So this is something, if I was a fly fisher, this would probably be a lot of fun. I am not, unfortunately. But this is something I would use in ice fishing. For vertical jigging for panfish, uh, crappy, tulipy, perch. This is about the size of plastics that we like to use. So I will certainly get some use out of these, just not until ice fishing. If I can grab one here. So they're just tiny little bugs of some sort, fly larvas or something or other. I don't know what this exactly is supposed to mimic, but they're a nice little bug shape, nice color, olive green, nice sort of a natural green. Uh, I have no doubt those will work. S pheromone technology, which I just got a whiff of. Very, very strong. It doesn't smell like anything in particular, but it gives you sort of an after burn at the back of your nose which is interesting. So there's some something going on there with that scent. It's pretty strong. I have no doubt that'll attract some fish. For me, unfortunately, I have to wait till ice fishing season to use it, but that's pretty cool. 
Uh, that is Euro Tackle Stonefly, 359 US, five bucks Canadian. That's about right. That's what I would pay for a pack of plastics like this. It's a decent sized pack. Looks like there's eight in there. Green pumpkin is the color. Yeah, a pack of eight. So nothing wrong with that. I think that's appropriate. The Blitz Firetail. So the Blitz Firetail, I just got this in my walleye specific box. Blade baits being a pretty good walleye lure. I won't spend too much time talking about this since I already went over it in the walleye box, but nice gold, basic gold color. Good blade bait style, nice forward leaning weight. And instead of a second hook, it's got this extra flashy spoon on it. So nothing wrong with that. Blitz lures. I'm looking forward to trying them out. I don't know anything about them yet. And same price as it was listed in the walleye box, $6.59 US, eight bucks Canadian. Uh, it's about what I would pay for a blade bait. So nothing wrong with that. Now I have two of them. Because I get two boxes from the same company, there's going to be some overlap. I don't hold that against them at all. You have to kind of expect that, especially if I'm getting a multi-species box and a walleye box. The multi-species is going to have some walleye lures, so I don't hold that against them whatsoever. Next up, the Vexan Deep Thud. Vexan, I'm pretty familiar with. I've gotten quite a few of their lures, all different kinds. They make a, a pretty good variety of stuff, too. Three-quarter ounce, three to four foot dive depth, Deep Thud. It's got a pretty deep thud. Good rattle in there. Good, good hefty, hefty rattle. I might have one of these that I've gotten before. I don't recall if I've actually used it yet. Nice square bill. So you'll bounce that off of shallow rocks and logs and fallen trees and stuff like that. Bright colors, bright chartreuse belly. The top is a darker sort of blue, but even it, if you rotate it in the light, has a lot of flashy micro sort of sparkle in it. Uh, and then of course the side is a light, light colored mix of white and chartreuse. All around it's, if you hold it in the light, if you rotate it around the light, and then this gold stripe along the side also throws off some flash. A very, very bright lure all around, while still giving that bait fish pattern of dark on top. Uh, I like this. I think this is a nice profile. It's a thick lure. You're going to attract some bigger fish for this. Things that have a, a pretty good appetite. I'm most likely going to catch pike on this more than anything else. But as far as if I had largemouth here, this would be a great largemouth lure. I could probably catch smallmouth on this too. They'll just uh, only be the bigger ones, which <laughs> nothing wrong with that. So nice. Vexan makes it some nice stuff. I know they're, uh, they're up there for quality. The Vexan knocking. The knocking deep thud, uh, eight ninety nine US. So, yeah, eleven eleven fifty ish, twelve bucks Canadian, somewhere around there. That's about right. Again, appropriate for what I would if I was to go buy this locally. That's about what I would pay. So that's an appropriate listing. I like it. I like it a lot. Still got a few things to go here. So some more small plastic lip rippers from. Who makes these? Or is it lip? Lip Rippers is the brand. Uh, Lip Rippers, Ripper Rats is what they're called. One inch Ripper Rats. In plain green, looks like. Let's see if I can get it open. These are a very interesting. Oh, they're green with silver sparkles in them. So you gotta look pretty close to see the sparkle, just because it's such a small bait, but it's basically just a circle with a long, skinny tail. I have other ones similar to this, and they work, again, this is something I'd really only use for ice fishing, for panfish, uh, for the vertical jigging. They work decent enough. I find these a little bit hard to hook, though, uh, because we usually use little tungsten jigs, because we fish pretty deep uh, in the winter. But if you can get them hooked up properly in a way that they're actually gonna stay, and still be able to hook a fish. Uh, they do work, they do attract the fish pretty decently. I like the color on it, it's a great color. I'm not sure if that'll glow or not, it kind of looks like that type of green that'll glow. Doesn't say anywhere on it that it does or does not. But uh, either way it'll show up nicely in, in nice clear water. 
Lip Rippers, Ripper Rats, five ninety nine, six bucks US. Works out to eight bucks ish Canadian. It's a little bit pricey for what I would pay if I was to go buy these locally. I'd probably pay five ninety nine. So maybe a dollar, dollar fifty, uh, too expensive. But otherwise, not a bad lure. So another repeat from the walleye box, and again. Can't hold that against them because I do get two boxes from the same company. But the Weston Magic Minnow. Which, again, is a pre-rigged. You get a jig head with a hook on a swivel, so you get tons of movement here. And it's pre-rigged in a weedless sort of setup, so this would be good for bass, pike, walleye. Anything that I would fish for, I could definitely use this for. Lots of, lots of action in the plastic tail there, the paddle tail. It's a longer tail with a heavy paddle tail on the end, so you really get that sort of swooping motion with the tail, uh, which I like. Love the colors in here. It's such a, such a barrage of sparkle when you look closely at this. There's blue, there's green, there's gold, there's a little bit of silver, there's black in there. Uh, it's really, really sparkly. It'll attract a lot of stuff. Nothing wrong with that whatsoever. I will use that for sure. Just like in the walleye box, the only problem I have with it being Weston, it is pricey. So $9.99 for the Weston Magic Minnow, $9.99 US. Um, so 13 bucks around there Canadian, which would be fine, except you only get one jig head to go with the two plastics. Something as simple as just making both of them rigged up, a pack of two wouldn't be bad, but I feel it's way too pricey for only getting one jig head with the two plastics. I just, I think that's a, a little bit of a cheaping out on Weston's part. I don't, don't uh, think that Mystery Tackle Box is inflating the price. I think that that's actually what Weston charges for them. Um, I'm just saying Weston is cheaping out on that a little bit, but... As far as quality goes, they really, they are high quality lures. Alright, so, Castaic, Atlas Spinnerbait. Don't really know too much about Castaic. I've gotten some stuff from them, but... I don't know uh, if that's... Uh... I know that Mystery Tackle Box with the Carl's Bait Shop has a bunch of brands that are kind of their brands. I don't remember if Castaic is one or if it's its own thing. Either way, got a nice looking spinner bait here. Double, double uh, blades here. Silver, plain silver blades, but nice bright blue and white skirting. And the white skirting, probably a little hard to see, but if you look at it right, the white skirting has silver patches. Uh, or dashes all along the length of it. So it's silver white, silver white, silver white. And then the blue skirting has a bunch of lighter blue and then silver sparkles, almost like micro sparkles inside of it. So looking at it from further away, it just looks, you know, blue and white, but then you look a little bit closer and it actually is reflecting quite a lot of light, especially off those silver sparkles uh, as I'm holding it up here in the sun. It's really throwing a lot of reflected light. So this will end up being pretty flashy in the water if I'm in clear water and it's a sunny day, this is going to throw all kinds of light through the water. So pike and bass are going to go after this like crazy. Nice gold, plain sort of colored uh, jig head. Um, and decent hook on it. Everything looks solid. Uh, I don't see any issues with that. I think that'll be fun to use. I really like using spinner baits for big pike. That's, pretty, that's basically the only thing that I use spinners for like this is going to be for big pike. But man you can get some big pike on something like this. So I like that. Price-wise, we are looking at Castaic Atlas Spinnerbait, $7.99 US. Yeah, so 11, 12 bucks Canadian, that's about right. For, I, don't, I don't know enough about Castaic to say whether that's what I would pay for that brand of lure, but uh, if I was to go and buy a decent brand um, spinnerbait of this style, that, that's about what I would expect to pay. Carl's Bait and Tackle Spark Plug. Interesting. So this is a little crankbait. It does not say how far it dives. But it's got a dive bill on it, so I imagine it goes to some depth. 
I'm going to guess just based on the size of the lure and the angle of the dive bill, it's not going to be that deep. Just on the size alone, it's probably only going maybe three, four feet, is what I'm going to guess. But it's a nice basic green color with just a few black spots on it. Basic profile, basic crankbait profile. The thing about this is it's a nice small size, so this is something that if I'm going after smaller size fish, if I'm going after some big perch or crappie, uh, is, is sort of what comes to mind when I look at this. Maybe smallmouth bass, if they're being finicky and want something smaller and easier, I might, or, or if I'm in an area that has a lot of younger smallmouth bass that aren't, you know, trophy size yet, I might go for that just to get quantity over quality. But mostly when I look at this, I see panfish. Uh, crappy and perch come to mind. Nothing wrong with that. I, uh, I like it. It's basic, simple. I imagine it'll work decently enough. And price-wise, it's <laughs> six forty-nine US. So, yeah, that's that's pricey. That's uh, six fifty. So it's like eight fifty nine dollars Canadian for being their own brand, where they should be able to offer stuff cheaper. To me, that's pretty pricey. I think that's uh, maybe a couple bucks too couple bucks too expensive and you know it's them that's setting that price so to me that's a little bit inflated last up for this box wave fishing I don't know them at all but we got some plastics here uh, I don't know what their model is wave fishing tiki snake is the model little bit of a scent on there just a subtle bit the tiki snake this is interesting that's kind of a weird weird profile uh, it's the body looks like a snake so it's got a, this sort of snake shaped head and then this sort of long body and it's got scales sort of uh, printed on there and then it's got this short little twister tail so just based on the length and then the twister tail this is going to flow through the water in a pretty tight, um, pretty tight action, and everything will sort of be shimmying along like this, and then the twister tail behind it. Um, so you'll get a lot of action in a small space, which might work to attract uh, some certain things. Definitely pike will go after this. Smallmouth bass might go after this. Might be a little bit on the long side, but for where I fish, um, walleye might go after this, depending uh, again where I'm fishing. I like the color, it's got the red sparkles in it. Red sparkles usually do pretty well for me. And it's sort of this uh, translucent green color with the red sparkles and the black spots inside. And then if you look really closely at the tail, you can see it does look like it's also impregnated with salt. So it'll probably, uh, yeah, it looks like it's definitely salt impregnated. So that's another feature. So anything that bites onto this is probably gonna hold on for a few seconds, uh, giving you a good chance at hooking up. So yeah, I think that'll be interesting. It's a it's a weird profile. I I've never had anything that's sort of like a, a snake head like that. I think that's interesting. Most likely, I see myself catching pike on this uh, out of anything else that I'd be fishing for. So very interesting lure. The price on that wave fishing tiki snake four ninety nine U S. So seven ish dollars seven fifty uh, Canadian for one two three four. So it looks like a pack of eight. That's appropriate. That's a good price. Uh, they're they're good beefy, um, long plastics. So for a pack of eight, I think that's a that's a decent price. Nothing wrong with that. That's it for my June bonus box or July super early box. Don't know which yet, but that is the box for whatever one that ends up being. Uh, let me know what you guys think down below. Leave a comment while you're down there. Hit those like and subscribe buttons really helps me out a lot for the channel. Um, if anybody, again, has suggestions for uh, where I can look to see more info on what month this is actually supposed to be, or if you do see that I am getting a box that is actually somebody else got the exact same one last month or something, please shoot me the link to, uh, to go see it. And I'd really like to figure out what's going on with my timeline here as far as boxes go and why I get so many comments saying that that's not the right box for this month. Because uh, as far as I can tell, I, I am getting it. So it'd be interesting to know if there's something weird going on with my orders. 
Other than that, don't forget you can follow us on Facebook, facebook.com slash True North Wilds, on Instagram at True North Wilds, and of course our blog site, truenorthwilds.com. Thanks for watching, and until next time, I'll see you outside.